how to make function keys to work as a function keys in certain apps like Photoshop, Cinema 4D, Blender, Illustrator, etc. while using them as MIDI keys in the rest of the apps. For newer MacBooks with touch bar, you can use num keys like 1, 2, 3 instead. If you enable this specific option that allows you to use function keys as their like default uh, with, with their default behavior, you cannot use media keys or you have to press uh, FM key, which is kind of kind of hard because it's too like yeah, it's not convenient at all. So I'm going to show you how to enable uh, function keys default like function behavior, aka function function behavior in some certain apps you want to, while still allow use them as a default with their default behavior as media keys in all other apps. To do that we need an app called Carabiner Elements. You've probably heard of it. I'm not going to download it from here, you're gonna do it for yourself. And I already installed it. I'm gonna show you how to import your own created specific configuration file that allow you To write down specific apps that you you're going to use with that function keys default behavior, like old-fashioned behavior, so to say, or for newer Mac, uh, for newer MacBooks, you could probably use one, two, three, four with a modification key, like option key or command key or control key, which is not convenient because in some certain apps, you can use the same command 1, command 2, command 3 to change between, for instance, between tabs like um, in Chrome. For So I'm not going to cover that, but I'm going to show you, okay? So um, here's the app. Um, so I already prepared this file and let me show it to you. Um, this is a configuration app. It's quite simple if you understand JSON default like format. So the thing is, we need to enable this this option, but with this option enabled, I cannot use media keys. So this is a uh, quick approach how to enable it only for like the rest of the apps, a part of the app that you want to use in, and. First of all, you need to find out so to call bundle identifier. To do that, you need to open a special program that comes with Carbiner Elements. It's called Carbiner Event Viewer. And you need to go to frontmost application tab. Then you need to switch to another app that you're going to capture or capture its identifier. So I'm going to like to, go, to show you sublime text, but I don't need this program. I need to use it with Cinema 4D. So I need to switch to Cinema 4D, then come back, and then you got it. You just can copy it, but it's better to follow this, like, um, uh, this structure. Just replace those names, okay? Um, so I'm not going to do it, because you know how to do it right now. Uh, I guess it. Then you need to copy this file to a specific location. Let me show you how to find it because it's quite tricky. If you open this app, you, you won't find this location because it's kind of hidden. So if you open Carbonate Elements, you go to Complex Modifications and you press Add Rule, but you don't have it. You can download it from their website, but it's not the same, so you can find some similar similar scripts like mm, with like a little bit different approach, which is not ideal. Or they tested them out, didn't work as I want to. So you need to create your own. 
depends on your model and your like expectations. So if I search fn, I could find some of those scripts. They kind of work, but not so that much perfect for me. And let me show you. Uh, I use this one as the main source of my information. Um, let me show you where is it. I think this one. Yeah. If you import it to Carbon Elements, um, you can find it. Let me show you where. Uh, it's kind of slow because I disabled uh, VPN. I need to open VPN for that. Let me show you where is it. Um, that one, because I'm in China, we cannot download it directly. We have to use VPN for that stuff, you know. And so this one, let me open it again. So I'm going to import it, but let me show you where is it. It's not the perfect solution, but it works, but it can interfere with other behavior. Like in some apps, this like command one, two, three, uh, you can use this. Okay, uh, but I'm not going to use it. Let me show you where where to find the place where to copy it. So you need to open terminal, then you type open. And uh, well, actually, you just need to type period and then config slash k and then asterisk asterisk sign. Then you go to assets complex modifications and then you copy it here okay now you can find it without relaunching app you just need to press add rule again and you'll see it you see now i'm going to enable it so that's it so when i use cinema 4d for instance or photoshop or illustrator anything like that i can use the normal function key behavior while in the rest of the apps I still can use it as media keys. That's about it. So if you need several apps to use in, you need to add all apps that you're going to use like this, okay? And then, for instance, Photoshop, like, uh, it's going to be from Adobe Photoshop. For, for each key. Because this condition means unless uh, the current app is one of these, you are not going to modify function key to media key behavior. So I'm not going to copy, but you need to copy it for each of these key. It's kind, of, it's kind of easy. It's not that hard. Then you need to save. Then you need to relaunch. Carbonary elements or from here as well, preferences, and go to preferences. Then you need to remove and then you need to re add it. And it's already modified, it's a new version. Okay, so, uh, so that's probably about it. Um, I hope you you like it. And if, if not, just uh, give me a comment what you need to know more about. Okay, thanks for watching. Peace.